Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at a few quick and easy ways to set up your layouts and import existing layouts really quickly. This is a question that's come up a few times, and I haven't specifically answered this one, so I wanted to do a quick Two Minute Tuesday to kind of cover any uh, questions or hesitancy when importing layouts into an existing drawing or a new drawing. Let's jump right into today's video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, I haven't directly answered or made a video on this topic before, uh, but I have done lots of stuff on layouts and templates in general. So there's a pretty good chance you've seen some of this, but I wanted to get right to the point and kind of show you guys how to import an existing layout into a drawing that you're working on. So you can see here, we've got my floor plan that I've drawn up in model space. And when we go to our layout, we've simply got the default kind of fit or zoom all display of our floor plan. Now, if you've already got a layout with viewports and scales and notes and all of that set up in another drawing, you can pull that into your current drawing in two really easy ways. Now, the first one is simply right clicking on the layout tab and choosing the from template option. Now, this is going to allow you to choose one of your AutoCAD templates if you've picked up my title block templates, you can save those into this template folder here, uh, which you can find by simply going to from template and it's going to bring this up. You can back follow the path to figure out where to save your template files. So a AutoCAD DWT is an AutoCAD template file. You can simply choose one and bring in a layout based on that that's saved into the DWT file. Selecting it there is going to let us choose which layout or multiple layouts to bring into your drawing. You can hold control to choose more than one or simply choose one and hit OK. That's going to instantly bring that into your drawing down here and you can see pretty quickly that this is going to save you a bunch of time. It's got a viewport in it already, which you can then zoom in and out, move around. It's got some text and your typical project info. Again, these are downloadable on the site. I'll put that link down below. But another way, if you've got an existing drawing that you've worked on, is to use the AD Center or the From Template again. And I'll just show you quickly, if you want to use From Template, simply choosing DWG as the file type and then browsing to where you've got an existing drawing is gonna let you pull that in. Now, another way to do that is if you have an existing drawing open that maybe you're pulling or using as an example. So I'll open up this file here. You can see that I've got a layout set up with viewports already for say another floor plan. I can simply pull this into my existing drawing over here by using ADC as the command for Autodesk Center, and that's the design center here. So you can see if I click on the open drawing, so this is drawings I have open, this tab is gonna show the ones that are available to us. So we are currently using our floor plan drawing, so this is the one that we want to bring a layout into. If we browse over using the plus sign here and choose the example drawing, and go to layouts, you can see that my current floor plan drawing 001 setup is available here. Right clicking on it and choosing add layout is going to automatically bring it and everything with it into our drawing. So you can see here that we now have the three viewports as well as all of the text already set up. All that's left now is simply zooming and moving around to find your uh, line work depending on the project site so maybe you typically do a blow up of a kitchen in this window maybe you currently like to do a blow up of the bathroom or the master bedroom in this one and this is your overall so there you can see with a couple clicks we've already set up our layout based on one we've made in the past and it comes with all of the text and title block and viewports set up for us 
This can be a huge time saver when you're working through projects with many drawings. Making a new drawing and simply pulling all of the layouts from a previous DWG that are even for that same project, but just maybe a new area or a new portion is gonna allow you to save a lot of time having to fill any of this stuff out, setting up your viewports, scales, etc. It's all gonna be done for you. And if you haven't already seen the Design Center or AD Center uh, flyout here, you can bring in multiple things, including layers, dimension styles, text styles, line types, tables, section views and blocks, anything from your other drawings, simply opening them up or using folders to browse to them, though I do like the open drawings method. It seems quicker in general to just open the drawing you wanna pull things from. It's kind of your swipe file or swipe drawing where you're just going to grab the blocks or layers that you need as you need them and simply selecting them like this block here right clicking and inserting or adding layers, right clicking on it and adding a layer is going to simply put those into your current drawing, which is our floor plan here. So this is gonna save you time, not only with layouts and setting up your drawings, but can save you time by bringing in a variety of different styles and tools and blocks in AutoCAD. Now, before we jump to the last tip, I wanted to remind you guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, where I walk through not only this style and this particular tip, but hundreds of others in hours of video content that I've compiled over 10 years of experience into, and I know it's going to teach you guys a bunch and save you a ton of time. It's discounted right now using the link down below or up above for subscribers and viewers such as yourself by using that link. Don't miss out and check it out right now. All right, so before I let you guys go, I've got one more tip here and that is simply to create a template file. So you can see we just use this example CAD file here as kind of a swipe or pull file. But if you've preset up your template or one of the ones you've downloaded from me with all of the blocks, layers, colors, textiles, dimensions that you currently and typically use, the easiest way to create drawings faster and more seamlessly as well as consistently is to set up those templates with all of your standard stuff and start a new drawing from it each time. By choosing new drawing, you're gonna get the ability to choose from a template. And if you've set up your template properly, you're going to be able to just choose it and you're gonna have all of your blocks, all of your layers, all of your uh, layouts pre-set up for you. And this is gonna negate a lot of scrambling around later to add things when you need them, like a specific line type or a specific text style. Having them all in your template, even if you have to have two or three different templates, depending on the type of work you do, is going to save you hours and hours of time. Uh, it's the easiest way to keep things consistent as well, since every drawing you start is going to have these same line types, the same layers, the same colors, the same layouts and title blocks. It's a huge time saver and I hope you guys start doing that. Again, if you need templates, you can pick up title block templates from my website. I'll put that link down below as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.